everybody, so today I'm going to be doing the I Love Drugstore Makeup tag and I was tagged by Charlie Pants 1530 and I'm going to link her channel down below. You guys should definitely check her out. Um, she's starting to regularly post videos again and I'm so happy because I love her. She's one of my first like friends that I made here on YouTube and she's the sweetest. Like I recommend checking her out because every product that she's like recommended or talks about like she actually like has done her research and knows that she loves them and she's not just like talking about it because it's the hype like she actually like is gives great advice so I love her check her out and yeah so basically this is an eight question tag and I have all my products sitting in front of you in front of me and you know that I love drugstore makeup if you've watched any of my videos in the past because I just love drugstore makeup I love that I can go to a store and get it immediately and it's just readily available and it's super affordable so let's go ahead and get started the first question is your favorite drugstore makeup brand and this was really hard for me but going through my makeup the only brand that I had a product from each line that I absolutely loved was L'Oreal which is really strange because a lot of people haven't been saying L'Oreal a lot of people have been saying like Maybelline or Revlon but for me L'Oreal is the one product that I have a powder a foundation mascara eyeshadows lip products cheek products everything that I really actually like so I had to pick L'Oreal so I love L'Oreal it's my favorite drugstore question brand. number two is your favorite face cheek and lip products so my favorite face product is by L'Oreal and it's their magic skin beautifier and it's their BB cream and I'm in the color light I picked this up recently probably last week or so I love this stuff so so much like it's amazing I can't tell you enough good things about it I don't think that it does everything that it claims but for me it just provides really nice coverage and I love that it dries to like a satin to almost matte finish but it doesn't dry out my skin or anything like that so I absolutely love this product it's my favorite the second um, part of that question is your favorite cheek product and this is elf is studio blush and this is in the color pink passion and I know that technically they're not a drugstore brand but you can find them a lot at Target um, and if you can't, you can order them on islipsface.com, and they're $3, which I think is very, um, even cheaper than most drugstore brands for blushes. So this is just what it looks like. It's so bright, I know, but when you sheer it out, I actually have it on my cheeks right now. It's just the nice, like, healthy pink glow to your skin. So I absolutely love this blush, and I totally recommend checking this And out. then the last part of that question is your favorite lip product, and this is the Colorish L'Oreal Balms. And I don't think they sell these anymore, but I think that they repackage them to actually be their caress lip products I don't know anymore but I bought these probably last uh, well I don't know probably in January or something like that maybe December and I love this product it's really hydrating really moisturizing gives you a nice like like a supple but different color look to your lips and this one I actually have is in caramel comfort but I have a bunch of different colors I love this product um so I think that the packaging is the same as the crest ones it's just really nice and I think that's why they've reformulated them because they haven't seen um the bombs anymore so if you um, want to check out a really nice lip product I recommend the L'Oreal I guess caress lip products so now. question number three is your least favorite drugstore product and because I try, try out mascaras the most from the drugstore I definitely had to go with a mascara and this is the great lashes by Maybelline and it's their lots of lash formula which if you're not familiar the brush looks very similar to the Lancome doll lash it's got that kind of tapered brush and what I don't like about this is like I'm fine putting it on one eye which it's still the formula isn't that great but I'm fine using the brush on this eye but I like to again use it like this I don't like to have to always twist the brush around to use it on this side and I feel like this doesn't get you know the brush is just doesn't work for me so I mean I understand the concept of this and I guess it's really good because it's a drugstore dupe so if you love the Lancome um, doll lashes then this would be a good drugstore dupe for you but I didn't like the brush and the formula wasn't that great either for me so I would pass on this if I were you. Question number four is your best drugstore bargain. Um, so for me those definitely have to be wet and wild eyeshadows. I have some trios here. I think I have quite a few of the trios and I also have a quad and I've never tried their single eyeshadows but I hear they're good as well but their quads I mean their trios are $1.99 and I believe this is $3.99 to $4.99 um but they're just so so pigmented really awesome shadows and they're one of the best shadows that I've ever found from the drugstore I actually reach for this walking on eggshells quite quite often and the second favorite is sweet as candy for me so I really love this and this is the comfort zone palette which comes with a lot of dark um, 
fall color, so it's perfect for the fall time. These are just amazing eyeshadows, very similar to MAC and Urban Decay, so these are my best bargain from the drugstore. Question number five is your favorite product from the drugstore that's kind of like an underdog product, which not many people talk about, and you guys know, if you read like my makeup in most of my videos, I'm always wearing this powder. It's the Milani uh, Multitasker Face Powder, and good news is I thought that it might be breaking me out, but good news is, is that it seems to not be now that I've changed up my skincare routine a little bit. Um, um, and I love this product. It's pretty full coverage. Like I can put it on with like, I'll put it on that BB cream and then I'll put this on afterwards and it's the perfect coverage for me. And if you're looking for super full coverage, you can put on a foundation and then put this on over it. It controls my oil so well. Like it looks really powdery when I first put it on, but a half an hour into wearing my makeup, it has the most amazing finish and it lasts all day long. Like I love this powder so, so much. It's around seven to eight dollars. I get mine at Walmart and I love the Milani Multitasker Face Powder. I'm in the color 04 Light Tan. Question number six is the drugstore product that you think is the most overpriced. And for me as a whole, the brand Physician formula seems to be the most priciest drugstore brand but also Neutrogena is pretty pricey as well but I like a lot of their products but this one I want to talk about is by Physicians Formula and it's their Happy Booster bronzer and I just did not like this I heard so many amazing things about the Happy Booster line but I was not a fan first of all like you can see it's mostly bronzer and then it's got like this pink little heart. So my bronzer brush doesn't really, I like a big bronzer to like kind of like sweep all over and like swirl my brush in the bronzer. And you can't really do that or you'll end up with pink. And this isn't pink enough to put as a blush because what little brush is gonna fit in there? So I just think that the packaging is really cute but the practicality of this product is just not good. So I don't think this is worth it. And I think this was like 12 or $13, which Ugh, a couple more dollars and you can have a MAC product. So I don't recommend this Physicians Formula bronzer. There's so many great bronzers at the drugstore and this is just not Okay, so me. question number seven is your best drugstore dupes. And my first one I have here for you is, what a dupe is if you aren't aware, is a high-end product that you can find for a cheaper price and it is typically a drugstore product of some sort. So the first one I tried out was the Origins Vitazing and I love this moisturizer. It's one of my favorites. It's a very tinted moisturizer, but it's doesn't product, it doesn't like say, claim or that it's a tinted moisturizer. It's one of those products that starts off white and as you rub it in, it turns colored. So it's the same concept as this L'Oreal Skin Beautifier. So I can't even tell you, this has a little bit better coverage, but they both claim to hydrate. This one has sunscreen in it, this one doesn't as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't say it does, so I don't think that it does, but they both hydrate really well. This is actually better for my oily skin than this is. Um, this one's around $30 and this one is around 11 so you know like half the price more than half the price you're saving this is 1.7 fluid ounces and this is one fluid ounce so then again like you know you're getting more product with this but I still think the coverage is 10,000 times better with this and I think it's better for like if you're just wearing this alone like if you're wearing this just as a moisturizer I think that if you're wearing this as a moisturizer and then putting out a foundation it might be a little too much but if you just want to wear one on their own I totally recommend the L'Oreal one over the Origins one and then my other drugstore dupe are eyeshadows and the first one is Stila's eyeshadow in kitten and if you've never seen it before it's just a really nice kind of champagne -y, pinky color and then I have the L'Oreal infallible um, eyeshadows and they just look like this they're in this little pot form and now when you swatch the colors they look pretty different like the Stila one looks a lot more pinky champagne and the um, the L'Oreal one in the color I believe iced latte looks a lot whiter but when you swatch them on your hands let me show you or even on your eyes they're very very similar the Stila one is just a little more kind of pinky tan than the ice smoke ice latte one but like so incredibly close when a steel eyeshadow is I believe $20 and the Revlon one is maybe like five I mean the L'Oreal one is maybe like five like it's so similar that you can't even tell so I totally recommend picking up that L'Oreal one and it will last you forever because it's like a pressed pigment it's amazing this shadow is so pretty and so pigmented. so this last question question number eight is a drugstore product that you just don't think is worth the hype so this one was really hard for me because I think that every person has different reactions to different products and this one is like a cult favorite I feel like but for me it was good but it just wasn't like my holy girl mascara and it's the covergirl lash blast oh I just don't love this mascara I used to love it but I just don't think that it's all that amazing um this one's the volume one I've tried the fusion one 
I just, there's so many better ones out there and I just don't think this one's that great and a lot of people do, but I just don't like it. I don't like the brush, I think, the most because it always gets all over my lash, all over my lids and lower lash line, Ugh. But I just don't think this is that great, so sorry if this is your favorite mascara, but it did not do wonders for me. And let me know if you're not alone, like if I'm not alone. If you don't like this mascara too, let me know because... I don't know. Maybe it just didn't work out for me. But anyways, that is the completed tag. I hope you girls enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tagging me. And check out her video down below. I will link it. And I will talk to you all in my next video.